Our gang, in this video, we're gonna find out if the A plus is for you. Hey gang, it's Rob from ICMatchKey.com and it's my job to help each and every one of you guys get certified. So in this video, I'm gonna go through a few things that's gonna determine if the A plus is a good certification for you. So first thing, the A plus is usually the first certification that people go after when they decide they wanna get into IT. It's the first certification that a lot of my students go after when they want to get A plus. And the reason for that is because A plus is pretty much like your high school diploma when it comes to IT. If you talk about IT, if you bring up certifications, literally everybody knows what A plus is. Here's a few facts about A plus. So A plus is one of these certifications that actually makes you perform stuff, right? You actually have to apply what you learn. So it's not just questions and answers. You have to actually perform the skills that you actually perform on your job. So just remember, if you're trying to get A plus, you gotta have a little bit of experience, gotta have a little bit of know-how to actually perform the job, not just questions and answers. And this actually is beneficial for you when you actually get into the real world, when you actually get into the trenches, you'll know what the hell you're doing. Another great thing about A plus is that A plus is trusted by employers around the world. Another great thing about A plus is that it's updated regularly. So you'll have the most up-to-date so skills. So those are just three of the reasons that I push a lot of the guys and the girls on the ITMasterKey.com program into getting A plus. Let's dive a little bit deeper. So here's a few things that you'll learn by getting A plus certified. You'll be able to demonstrate the basic security skills needed to be an IT professional. You'll be able to install, maintain, and configure a bunch of different operating systems. You'll be able to troubleshoot core services and any support challenges. You'll also understand the basics of IT infrastructures and networking. You know what? Let's go even deeper. Here's all of the skills that you'll learn with A+. Number one is hardware, how to connect and configure hardware devices. Number two, you'll be able to break into networking. You'll be able to explain different types of networks and the connections that's gonna be found in them networks. Number three, you'll figure out how to use mobile devices, how to install those mobile devices and how to configure them. Number four, you'll figure out how to install and configure a bunch of different operating systems. Number five, which is a really, really, really big one, it's kind of like number five and six, is hardware and software troubleshooting. So if you've ever seen this video before, if you're in my damn courses, you already know that troubleshooting is what you need to know. If you don't listen to anything, say it with me, gang, troubleshooting is what you need to know. You know what? That actually reminds me of a story. So not too long ago, before the C word happened, I gave an in-person boot camp, and it was a one week boot camp geared towards people who just needed like an extra push. So warning, I do not recommend you go to a one week boot camp. If you haven't been doing a lot of studying prior to the boot camp, a one week boot camp for A plus or any other certification without any prior education is a bad idea. Don't do it. One week is not enough time to retain all this information. Anyway, back to the story. The boot camp was going awesome. Then on the third day, a guy strolled in and said he was in the class. I told him he'd missed a lot of info in the first two days. He said, I've been doing tech for 10 years. A plus would be a breeze. I'm only taking it because my company is paying for it. I verified that his company check cleared and shrugged. So, okay. So at the end of the boot camp, he came, picked up his voucher and I gave it to him actually stop. You may be asking yourself, Rob, why didn't you stop him? Because he's a grown ass man. And like I said, the check had already cleared. Long story short, this man to this day has the lowest score I've ever seen on an exam. No matter how much experience you have, you still need to study for the specific exam topics. Don't be cocky. So saying that you've been in tech for 10 years and you're going to pass A plus with no problem is kind of like saying, hey man, I've been driving for 10 years, so I don't have to do any practice to be a NASCAR racer. You're not Ricky Bobby, man. You gotta put in the work to make sure that you can get what you gotta get. Anyway, remember that 
The exam is in two parts. So it's a really big exam, so big that they had to separate it into two parts. So it's a lot of topics spread across two exams. You have to pass both of those exams to be fully A plus certified. So believe it or not, there's actually a few more skills that you're gonna get from the you A plus. You're gonna learn about virtualization and cloud computing. So virtualization allows you to take a physical environment and make it virtual. Cloud computing allows you to pretty much access data, information, servers, whatever you need from the internet. A virtualization allows you to have a virtual space, whether it's servers, whether it's networks, whether it's whatever you need in a virtual space where you can practice on these things or you can actually have these virtual machines service real people. Cloud computing, as we already know, like Google Drive, iCloud, that type of stuff is allowing you to have access to your data, whatever you want, as long as you have an internet connection. So the next skill you're gonna learn is security. Security is super important nowadays. Cybersecurity is a buzzword and A plus actually covers security fairly in depth. And it actually is a great precursor for Net Plus and Security Plus because a lot of the topics that are covered in both of those when it regards to security is gonna be covered in the A+. The last but not least is operational procedures. So this is gonna go over best practices when it comes to safety, environmental, and communication, and professionalism. Now let's talk about the different types of jobs that actually use the skills that are found in A+. Service desk analysts, help desk tech, associate network engineer, help desk technician, support administrator, and many more roles. The A plus allows you to gain entry level employment so you can start climbing that ladder to get to the positions that you want. Now, a lot of people may frown on help desk. A lot of people may say, oh, help desk is no bueno, but you have to start somewhere. Now, my rule of thumb is two years. If you've been in help desk for more than two years, something has went terribly wrong. Now, this is an entry level help desk position. Now, believe it or not, there's actually help desk positions that are making close to six figures, but the average help desk is gonna be making a little less than that, right? A little less than that. So anyway, you gotta start somewhere and it's not a loss, right? So A plus, even if you are a career changer or a transitioner, because a lot of my people are transitioners. They actually already have careers, already doing stuff. They already make it maybe 70, 80. And I always tell them, hey, sometimes you gotta take a step back to take a hundred steps forward. Doing something that is beneficial financially, intellectually, and is gonna be here for the long run. So the A plus is basically for you. Other than that, I'll see you in class.